What are the similarities and differences between correlation and regression, and the advantages of each? Both correlation and regression quantify the direction and strength of the relationship between two numeric variables. However, correlation quantifies the relationship through a single value between negative 1 and 1, whereas regression describes the relationship through an equation of the form y equals a plus bx. Another difference. With correlation, the x and y variables are interchangeable, whereas with regression, the results of the analysis will change if x and y are swapped. And perhaps the most fundamental difference. Regression assumes x is fixed with no error, such as dose amount. Whereas with correlation, x and y are typically both random variables, such as height and weight, or blood pressure and heart rate. Now some similarities. When the correlation is negative, as indicated in red in this Major League Baseball correlation chart, the regression slope is negative. And when the correlation is positive, as indicated in blue, the regression slope is positive. Another similarity, the correlation squared, known as R squared, has special meaning in regression. It represents the proportion of variation in Y explained by X. Now, the advantages of each. The key advantage of correlation is that it provides a more concise summary of the relationship between two variables. As a result, many correlations can be viewed together at the same time in one table, as seen with the Major League Baseball correlation chart. One warning, however, when interpreting correlations, you should be aware that correlation does not necessarily imply causation. A key advantage of regression is the equation shown here, which can be used for prediction and or optimization. Let's look at a real-world example where we use both correlation and regression. The strength of UV rays varies by latitude. The higher the latitude, the less exposure to sun. So where you live can have an impact on your skin cancer risk. The correlation between latitude and mortality rate is negative 0.82, indicating a strong negative relationship between the two variables. As one increases, there is a strong tendency for the other to decrease. With regression, an equation, indicated by the red line, also shows a negative relationship, but additionally allows for the prediction of skin cancer rates at different latitudes. The slope indicates every one degree increase in latitude decreases mortality by 5.98 deaths per 10 million individuals. The intercept predicts a mortality rate at a latitude of zero at the equator, which is 389.2 deaths per 10 million individuals. Although, since there are no data at a latitude of zero, this prediction relies heavily on the relationship maintaining its linear form outside the range of the data. In summary, correlation and regression have many similarities and some important differences. Regression is primarily used to build models to predict a response, while correlation is primarily used to quickly and concisely summarize the direction and strength of the relationship between two numeric variables.